Honorable Member for Vancouver Quadra. Mr. Speaker, the Deschamps report on sexual harassment in the military outlines a culture of sexualization and abuse, particularly against women and GBLTQ members. This is inexcusable. This must be fixed now. The report lays out 10 recommendations for how to begin turning this horrific situation around. Yesterday, the government claimed to accept all 10 recommendations, but the Chief of Defence Staff said he only accepts two and will study the rest. Who is telling the truth, the military or the government? The Honourable Permanent Secretary for National Defence. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'd just like to remind this member that it was the Chief of Defence Staff that ordered this independent external review by Madam uh, Chief Justice Deschamps. And I can tell you that they have received the report, they, they've re accepted the recommendations and are now currently looking at how they implement those recommendations and the Chief of Defence Staff has stood up the strategic response team led by Major General Christine Whitecross. Member for Vancouver Quadra. Well, no answer there. This government has allowed this abusive and mis misogynistic situation in the Canadian Armed Forces to persist. The military has both condoned inappropriate and abusive behaviour and turned a bli blind eye or punished those who complained. The minister is accountable for his department and a phantom action plan is simply not enough. Will the government take full responsibility for allowing this toxic behaviour, apologize to the victims and make sure the abusers and enablers are held to account? Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, this is not a partisan issue. Right. You know, our thoughts are with the victims. You know, we find this, this is, uh, abuse completely disgusting. Uh, that is why the Chief of Defence Staff went and, and asked for this report. And uh, they are reviewing and going to be implementing these recommendations to ensure that this culture is changed, that they are able to increase public education and awareness and provide a safe vehicle uh, for complaints to come forward. 